Hi everybody, Bomb Chop here, and today we're going to be doing something slightly different on the channel with a trophy list review. I'm basically using this as a bit of an excuse to test out some new equipment, make sure it all works fine, and also to fill a couple of gaps in between some bigger projects. So a few days ago I sent out a community post where I asked if anybody wanted their list reviewed, and big shout out to Gingery Elixir 7 who was straight in there giving me the permission. Now because Gingery Elixir has got so many Platinums, I've basically set it up so that it's Platinums only, and I'm also going to lay some ground rules where anything under two hours um, I'm basically just going to ignore, uh, because usually if it's under two hours it's, it's a grubby. Now, this is going to be completely from the top, there's not going to be any like edits, uh, I'm going to stutter from time to time, I might even add like uh, a stutter uh, counter somewhere on the screen, but yeah, let's get into it, so alphabetical order, 20 bunnies, and I've completely gone against what I said, under 2 hours, so forget, forget it, we're starting now, so 36 fragments of midnight, 16 hours, 32 minutes, I actually don't know what game that is, I have no idea, but judging by the high percentage, I would say that's potentially a visual novel. Uh, you'll have to get back to me and let me know. Uh, Adventure Time Pirates of... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Nah, no chance. Uh, but yeah, fair play, that's one that I've, I've seen. I've never played it, but I have seen it, so fair play on that one. Um, mate, there's... What is this dirt? What is that dirt? I'm just kidding. Here we go. Batman Arkham Asylum. Nice. That is that is a, a nice platinum. And you got Arkham City and Arkham Knight. Um, Enemy Within. I'm not too sure on that one. But these three. Fair play. Fair play to you. I mean, 6.48% on the platinum pop. Fair, like... But... What does that mean that you've done 0.83% of the DLC, which means that you've still got 44% of DLC to complete if you wanted to 100% it? If that's the case, then that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, we got we got the Batman The Telltale series. Nice. Uh, ben 10. Quite a, considering it, Ben 10, you know, f for me, I would think... Off the top of my head, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's like kind of like a, a kiddie game. Um, but considering it's got such a low platinum pop, I'd, you know, okay, I'll, I'll salute. Um, then we got some more dirt. Oh, mate. How, how can you go from, like, the Batmans, which are, like, you know, quality platinums, to, to stuff like this? But you know what, like... Okay, oh, brats. Not going to judge, not going to judge. Uh, Bunny Raiders. Now, I, I almost had the Bunny Raiders Platinum. Uh, it was just before I started my uh, YouTube channel. And I downloaded Bunny Raiders because I just wanted to get like a, a quick and easy Platinum. And I actually died on the final boss. And if, if I hadn't have died, if I'd have beat that final boss, I'd have got the Platinum in something like an hour and 30 minutes. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't get the Platinum now, because all of the Platinums on my uh, PSM profile, they're all, you know, they've all took a bit of effort, um, with the exception of Goosebumps, but let's not go there, because that, like, leaves a sour taste in my mouth. But I did do that for a for a five uh, Platinums for Halloween video that I did, which absolutely sucked. Um, I had such awful audio issues during that. Okay, let's carry on. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, nice. Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, also nice. I started that the other day. Uh, I think I got like two trophies, two or three. I, I, di I did the, um, the pit in like a really poor time but i still got a trophy and i also killed uh, general shepherd like straight off the bat i know what he does in that game i'm on to him uh modern warfare remastered as well nice um more dirt sorry buddy but more dirt uh nine hour chemical bonded visual novel i'm guessing chickens on the road no idea uh, 
ignore ignore me under two hours corpse party absolute banger of a game so underrated corpse party is a brilliant game especially if you like horror and indie style absolutely superb game uh, cyber dimension neptunia four goddesses online yes my guy that that's an awesome game that was my first introduction into the neptunia series uh, and and i got the platinum on it myself um a few years back now but I, I loved that game it was brilliant uh demon slayer nice I, I, I like it when i see people that, that have got like you know jrpgs uh and anime style games there's not many of them around most lists that people submit and, and like that you see online it, it's always the same things but um no nah, i like it i like it uh detroit become human respectable 12.95 i'm surprised that that's not higher it's not a difficult game it's just you know multiple playthroughs but fair play you got that one as well disney classic games now i actually brought this uh quite a while back and i don't know what i had done but it just wouldn't let me play either of the games. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was telling me like, oh, you need to you need to purchase this game and this game. And I was like, well, I've just paid like seven, 12 quid, something stupid like that. And, and it was basically just for a title screen. Um, maybe I'll have to go back and check that out again sometime. Uh, I mean, it's over the two hours, so I guess, I guess I can talk about it, but dodge these balls. I'm pretty sure that that's... Uh, a bit of a grubby one but okay uh dragon ball z kakarot awesome i've i've got to go back to this i got i got really far into uh dragon ball z uh kakarot but then i think an, another game came out and i was just like yo i, I want to play this uh, and i just never went back so you know slap my hand i will go back at some point uh ghosts of tsushima yes shame about the uh the amount of dlc but fair play you've got the platinum trophy god of war 3 remastered fair play awesome game uh oh i, kn I know these are with within the uh rule set so to speak but i just i can't stand goosebumps like i loved it as a kid i i, I used to read every single book i think i think i had vhs's i I know I'm showing my age a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I had them on tape. Um, I've not seen actual gameplay of Dead of Night, but what, what's what's the deal with this like one trophy that you're missing from the DLC? You'll have to let me know in the comments, mate. Like what what's the deal with that one trophy? I'm guessing. Well, I can see it's one trophy. Okay, uh, GTA San Andreas. I, I, in my opinion the best grand theft auto no questions i would much rather play san andreas than any of any of the others um and fair play you got the platinum on that uh grim fandango nice i've seen it i've uh i've seen it on a lot of people's lists it's not one that i've ever played myself um but yeah nice and gris fair play I'm surprised that that's uh, as high as it is because it's not the kind of game that I'd expect many people to want to play. It's very different, um, but nice that you've got that. Um, Hentai vs Evil. I know it's under the two hours, but I just I gotta point it out because, I mean, that percentage. But it just like I I love my anime stuff as well, and I have looked at this numerous times, but it it does it just looks horrendous uh hitman go nice uh explosion 11 golds two silvers is that is that a bit of a, a grubby maybe uh kenda kenda kandagawa jet girls I, I actually did this a uh, couple of months ago i've actually got a video on the channel um but considering it's uh, a bit niche i, I actually kind of enjoyed it perhaps dragged on a little bit too long but um i enjoyed it i'm surprised they only it took you a month and three weeks though like uh i'm guessing you went back to it on a later date or something uh kill the kill if 
11.15%. Is, is that the fighting game? If it is, then I'm pretty sure that the trophy list for that is really easy. Um, so again, was that something that you, you like perhaps went back to at a much later time uh, when you decided to start platinum hunting or something? Yeah, like I said, any any question that I ask, feel free to answer it down below. Um, Lego Batman 3, nice. Okay, we've got a whole host of Legos now. So, Lego Batman 3, 32% of DLC left. Uh, DC Super Villains, 30% of DLC left. I mean, we're only here for the Platinums, not the 100%, but fair play. Uh, Jurassic World two years six months i'm guessing that was definitely one that you went back to after uh lego movie two you know so i, I hate that game lego movie one was one of the first plat actually i think it might have been the first platinum i ever earned um at least on the account i'm using or, or, or the account that i've used for the last 10 years but um and i remember enjoying it so when i saw lego movie two i thought you know might as well go for that one as well and in it was horrendous it just didn't it didn't feel like a lego game and i don't remember the first one being that like that way um okay so you've platinumed the movie video game in german oh okay nice um more legos life is strange the oh yeah, Life is Strange, The uh, that's the complete collection, isn't it? Like, the four of them. I've, I've always seen them, and, I, I, like, whenever you watch any list or anybody that's talking about, like, you know, games that are good to platinum, um, that they these always get mentioned, but, like, I keep hearing the same thing about Life is Strange. Like, you know, it's kind of like a, a teenage girl game. I'm, I, I don't know. I've never played them myself. But well, that's what I always get told. So that's why I've never touched them. But, I mean, before the Storm and True Colours, over 60% Platinum completion. So, you know, I'm guessing they're easy. It's just, can I be bothered to put a day or 18 hours or however long they take into getting a Platinum that's going to be that high? Um, let's carry on for a bit. Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy. I've got to give you props for that. It's not the hardest, but it's just a fantastic game. Um, two years, one week. Yep, I'm guessing you went back. Spider-Man. Disgusting amount of DLC. Similarly to me, this is... Uh, I, I, never, uh, I never did Marvel's Spider-Man until this year myself. It was one of those games that... Uh, I just... Everyone was always talking about it, and I was just like, can't... Like, I'm sure it's a good game, but I just can't be bothered. But I eventually got it. Um, you actually got Miles Morales before Spider-Man. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, I actually haven't played Miles Morales myself as of yet, but we'll see what the future holds. Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect. I think that was one of my first platinum trophies. Wasn't the first, but it was one of the first platinum trophies I ever earned. Um, again, I'm not surprised that it's a high uh, platinum percentage, but okay. I, I know they're under the two hours, but if you're gonna do the mayos, do all three of them. So you know, fair play. Ah, right, here we go. N now we're talking. So Naruto Shippuden. Two, three, and four, and then you've got uh, Ultimate Storm, and I've not actually seen this one before. Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Is that like a spin-off to Ninja Storm, or or was that a completely separate uh, thing? But fair play, you've you've got all of those platinums, and as you can see, they're all pretty low. I mean, Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections isn't, and I guess Ultimate Ninja Storm isn't, but fair play you've still got them and they i mean they're anime games so they automatically get a fucking the seal of approval from me uh neptunia virtual stars nice i've actually got this game but i just couldn't get into it i, I don't know why it, it's one that I'm, i've added to my list more recently to like go back and give it another go 
but I just couldn't get into it. But I, I love the Neptunia series um, ever since I started with Cyber Dimension, Neptunia 4, uh, Neptunia X Senran Kagura. Uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised that these are quite high percentages. My, my guess is that they're not... Because they're games that are quite, uh, quite niche, not many people buy them, but the people that do complete them and complete them to the full but fair play on both of those uh near automata brilliant game now here's the question did you do that legit or did you buy the uh last few trophies because i know that my mate did that i completed it like legitimately and it took me like i'm pretty sure it took me like three four months but my mate did it in like a couple of weeks he was like, oh yeah, you, you can just buy these last few trophies. And I was like, really? But yeah, you'll have to let me know. Um, it always makes me laugh every time I see it on the store or anywhere. And Sue Hunter just makes me laugh. Quite a high percentage, but just maybe that's one I can uh, add in at some point for uh, a specific platinum number. Uh Okay, so poker, pretty girls, poker, pretty girls, pretty girls, pretty girls, pretty girls, pretty girls, pretty girls. Punchline. Yes. I actually brought the physical edition of this uh, a couple of days ago. It's one that I uh, I had originally brought for potentially a future platinum or a, a, an idea I'd got. Uh, but in truth, it's kind of just gone on the shelf for the time being. But we'll see, we'll see what the future holds. Um, Ratchet and Clank is is that the original one? Is that I think it is, not not the the original original, but uh, yeah, PS4. Where where's Wild Rift? Wild Rift is like a fantastic game, and it's fairly easy, and it can be done uh, in a few days. So I I want to see that on your list uh, soon, mate. Uh, retrace memories of death high percentage so I'm guessing that's a visual novel uh, River City Girls 1 and 2 I don't really know much about those I haven't I haven't got an app Scooby Doo what they include but one took you 11 months the other one took you a week I'm guessing went back to the first one and then decided to finish the second one or something Um, oh, no Mate, Sakura for days. You is this literally like the whole set? Every single one of them. Every single one of them is ninety-seven or high, oh no, yeah, every single Sakura ninety-seven or higher uh, platinum completion. Mate. It, it makes me want to cry a little bit because I've seen some of the trophies that you are able to get. Like you, you obviously a very, you know, good uh, gamer. You've you've obviously got some skill with 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 some games. Like you know, you've smashed them out the park. But then, you know, you've got all these. How how many is there here? So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 tro platinum trophies just in that, just in the Sakura section. Is it, okay, let, let me ask you a question. Do you get like a, a dopamine hit from the, the platinum popping? Like, do you just want to get as many Platinums as possible? Or do you actually enjoy these visual novels? I would imagine not so much if you're finishing them in 2 minutes and 12 seconds. But let, let me know down below. Like, I'm not judging you as a person for this. I just, just want to understand uh, why you would go for these. Um, is it literally, like, do you want to get on the leaderboards or something? But yeah, let me know in the in the comments. Um, Sen Senran Kagura Burst Renewal, bad boy game. 
quite high a percentage. I actually, uh, I've got this, but I think I played it too soon after a, a separate uh, Senran Kagura game. And I, I just, like, I got a bit bored. Uh, S no, actually, I can't. One of these was, was that, and the other one, I'm not sure. Uh, but Estival Versus, nice. Peachy Beach Splash you. you know what, I'm going to gush a little bit now. Absolutely love that game. Like, if, if that would have been marketed and advertised better in the West, that game would have been an absolute banger. Like, hundreds upon thousands of people should have played this game. It was superb. Okay, it's a little bit, like, you know, risky, jiggle physics. It's not the kind of game that I'd play if my missus or my parents were around. But the actual gameplay, third-person uh, shooter, superb. Absolutely superb. So, you know what? Fair play. That's one that I've got as well. Ooh, okay. See, th this is precisely my point. Sonic Forces. 3.49% of people have got the Platinum. You can get trophies like this, but you filled half of your, your profile with the Sakuras. Mate, th this is... Like, I don't know if Sonic Forces is a really good game. I think I played it once, but I wasn't impressed. But, as a, as a massive Sonic fan myself, seeing this makes me happy because that is a, a banger of a, a Platinum. And sorry, Sonic Origins, yeah, it's, it's a high Platinum percentage, but still... Sonic, Sonic Origins, awesome game. Um, what's the newest one? Is it Super Sonic Superstars or Sonic All Stars? Um, that's one that I actually want to add to my collection at some point, but I'm not prepared to pay uh, forty pound, which is the cheapest I've found it online so far. Um, South Park Fractured Butthole, a platinum I've got myself. Brilliant game. I think. I mean. These two South Park games are awesome. Um, we won't talk about Snow Day. A uh, little bit disappointed to say the least. But yeah, I've got Fractured But All myself. Stick of Truth. I haven't got that one. I missed a few bits and I couldn't be bothered to go through the whole game again. But it is on my list to maybe revisit. Um, the, the Spyros. I mean... Any trophy hunter, any platinum trophy hunter should have the Spyros. I've got one, I've got two. Number three is on my to-do list, but I don't like to play... Like, if I, if I play Spyro 1, I can't go straight into Spyro 2. I have to give it a few months uh, rest, uh, and that's basically what I'm doing. I, I did Spyro 2 about a week ago or something like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so Year of the Dragon can wait uh, until, I don't know, November or something. But fair play. Okay. Mm. Mm. Tales of the Borderlands. Okay, Tales of the Borderlands. Whoa, well, I, I, actually, you know what? Forget about Tales of the Borderlands. I've just seen this one. Team Sonic Racing, 2.56%. That is... Chef's Kiss of a Platinum Trophy. I actually went for this um, a couple of years ago. It was before I, I'd even like... It was before I, I actively tried to get Platinum Trophies. And I, I, I can't remember... I know something happened. Like, I was doing really well. And, and like, I'd got some of the, the hardest trophies. Um, but then, like, I just... I stopped for whatever reason. If I remember right, my my, um, my save file got corrupted. If I remember right, but I don't re I don't remember. Um, but I mean, you've got it. That is a f banger of a game, banger of a platinum. Let's go for that alone. You know, I'll, I'll take back everything about all the uh, all the uh, visual novels. Take them all back. And now they're back. And now uh, I'll put it back there as again. The Bear Bee. Oh, mate. But when, when I see ones like this. I mean look at look at all these. There, there's an even worse one. What's happened to the 0.16 that hasn't got that Platinum Trophy? 
Like what? If it's only if it only takes three minutes and seventeen seconds, why why is whoever's brought it or installed it not just followed for nine point nine? I I need I gotta make it my mission. Find a game that is literally a hundred percent. Everybody that's ever put the game on has got the platinum trophy. But nine point nine is definitely the highest. I need to remember that. Nine point nine five. What the hell? Okay, I'm I'm spending too much time on on grubbies. Uh, theoretically a grubby, I guess. But the Walking Dead Telltale uh, Telltale series, I think. Um, haven't played it myself, but uh, I, I do want to play it at some point. Uh, I, I know the story, Clementine. Uh, is it Lee? Uh, I've heard it's quite uh, sad, but I, I get bored of Telltale games. I really do. Uh, Wolf Among Us, again. I've heard that it's a, a brilliant uh, game, but they just bore me. Transformers Battlegrounds, nice. Uh, I've played that. Couldn't get into it. Wasn't my, wasn't my type of game. Fair play to you on the Uncharted's, though. They are on my list. I've got the, um, the trilogy. But I think I own number four as well. But the tri the original trilogy, I've actually never played them, so I added them to my uh, to my account, um, and then I brought the physical copy. They are on my list, but I'm just the uh, I've heard that there's a, the hardest difficulty is just really really tough to do, but of course. If it is really, really tough, fair play. You've gone and done it. <coughs> Sorry. I told you it was going to be done all done in one take. Uh, I'm going to attempt it. Utter Wormuno. Nope. Completely butchered. But I've seen this a few times on the store. I have no idea what the gameplay is like. I'll probably Google it after, after I finish recording. Uh, Waifu Impact. I, one of the first platinum videos I ever watched was of someone doing waifu impact and I remember watching it thinking like this this game looks hilarious but also utter trash and I can't remember who it was exactly but the, the person who was making the video had thousands of views on it and I thought I know that I'm now a view but what why so many people watching this but you know, it, it's over the two hour rule, so I thought I'd mention it. Uh, Wolfenstein The New Order and The Old Blood. Two that I've got as well. Um, I think these are my only two Wolfenstein uh, Platinums. Obviously, it's not Wolfenstein 2, uh, the Meinleben infamous trophy. But I don't care what anyone says. Wolfenstein games are still pretty difficult. Uh, so, again, fair play on both of those. Um, okay, and we've we've hit the bottom. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what that says, but 88.26. I'm again guessing it's potentially a visual novel. But let's go and look at the um, most rare trophy. I'm, yeah, I thought as much. It just it just had to be Team Sonic Racing Platinum, like the fact that you've got that is superb and actually now that now that i'm near the top of the screen 30 22nd in the world 778th in country is that is that why you've got so many um you know like visual novels and, and uh grubby shovelwares are you trying to like get onto the leaderboards um i'm not judging you if that's the case like if, if that is why you're doing it then hundred percent like go for it you know i will try and point out any easy platinums i ever find to you um but it does sadden me a little bit because you've clearly got the skill to do some absolutely banging games that take you know take some effort and i mean yeah so yeah, so Ginger Elixir 7. I mean, I'm a lover of... Oh, I've just noticed this. 
you know what? It, it, it it's almost like uh, looking at a, a description of myself. Like I like all the same kind of stuff that you do. I'm a Sonic fan for life. I love animes. Um, and yeah, like your list wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, I, I thought that you got some absolutely amazing platinums. A um, little bit disappointed with the amount of shovelwares, but if you are going for the leaderboards, then completely understand. And uh, yeah, so let me know uh, in the comments, uh, Ginger Elixir, about all the things that I mentioned throughout the video. And if you're somebody else that's watching this, uh, looking for ideas, uh, or want to have your review uh, trophy list reviewed, then leave your PSN profile down below and I will pick out a random one each time and we'll do it again. I, I enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully next time my throat won't give up and I'll feel the need to cough while I'm recording. But uh, yeah, so if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Peace.